Any team is better with Joe Thornton in the room. The question is, was that the best use of their last chunk of money? You're at the grocery store, you got a buck and a half left. Are you going to buy something that you have already, but you really like, and maybe a little extra pudding? Or are you going to buy something that you need? And I think they should have spent that money elsewhere. <laughs> My favorite meal by far is uh, her chicken tortilla soup. I, I love what she makes that. I'll eat that in the middle of July. He loves Mexican food. Unfortunately, he cannot eat it as much as he want to because his diet. He, I remember coming to me and says, Mama, I want to play hockey. Back then, I was like, hockey? OK. Good. Good. Thank you. Good there. You got to really focus in on that chest hair. That's a man's uh, chest right there. Look at this. Look at the hair on there. Zoom in. I'm still waiting to mature. It's not going to be a toe model. <laughs> My toe modeling career is on hold. Hey, I see you. What was going on? How can I now? Huh? I can see you. Sometimes you, you're like, shit. Like, this is tough. But then you gotta find that inner dog in you to come out and continue fighting. You know, it's a battle to the end. You're an animal, Buzz. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> yeah, it's like an alpha. <laughs> cool. filler in the cheese. What is this that you're doing? I'm really not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, can you say hi to the boys <laughs> real quick? How'd you find me? Well, I always know where you are, motherfucker. What's up, James? How was the Mayor's Cup? I got two. Two goals? Yeah. My cousin actually reached out to me, and her son wanted to talk to me about uh, his recent hockey tournament. So did you win the championship? Who's your favorite uh, guy on the Maple Leafs? Matthew. <laughs> Are they letting the spectators in up there yet? Because the Bruins going to let people in at the end of the month. No, Canada's actually been really strict. And obviously you can't get a haircut up there? <laughs> it's actually really tough. Like, they've been bringing a guy into the rink. The line is like, every guy is trying to get a haircut. So I, I missed the last time. But yeah, it's really bad. Tell your teammates you passed the clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get going, Melissa. OK, good to see you. All right, good to see you guys. We'll send you some hair clippers. OK, perfect. Bye. See you guys. OK, bye. Stop falling. Oh, look at that hair. He looks beautiful. He looks like a movie star. <laughs> hey, first cut since what? September 1st. <laughs> Pat saves, and down is Campbell. Wow! Who was that that jumped on him? What the fuck are you doing? This fucking piece of shit. And Campbell seems to be shaken up again. He is very slow to get up. He may not be able to get up. You okay, Sue? I tore my groin like three minutes ago, but I'm going to try to finish. You got it, Sue. OK, well, illegal, sir. No? The only rule is that it can't be like touching your hand. No, no. the rule is you have to no. throw it six inches. It's, it's not like a like very well known good. like ping pong roll. <laughs> Whatever. I, I feel like eight points in there. Do something. You fucking do something off. about it. Hey, do something. Hey, do something. Sue, hey, you're in the age No way. But hey, I owe you. What? I'm I'm going to have to red lobster tomorrow. Okay, dude. I need it. I need that crab linguine in me. Thank you for scoring. Dude. Boys are buzzing. You know, feels nice. Put on some tunes. Maybe grab a ginger ale. We'll see. Thank you, Nathan. What's up, bud? Not now. Hey, is uh, Felix in there? Uh, he's in the kitchen today. Who's this? This is uh, Felix. Oh. Oh. Hello. If I brought my lab here, like all that food's gone, <laughs> everything's gone. Felix is great. I got him back in quarantine. He brings a lot of joy. Uh, he's always super happy. I usually just bring him in here on days off since we still got to get tested. And come here and buzz around for a bit and hopefully tire him out a bit. You ready? All my friends, we're all rooted for the Leafs. We all wanted to be a Leaf growing up, and the way the world works is funny sometimes, and, and you know, 30 years later, here I am. 
Now he's dispensing cup winning know how to his teammates. As long as we're all like kind of in that mode of pressure, 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 it's tough for them to get it off the yellow like you see there. Like, you know, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, and they end up clearing it for us. But it's tough to get set up when it's like that. So as long as everyone knows, it should be a four go. Like, boom, 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 we're all going. Great job, everybody. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Just shoot two pucks straight to my head. No. You want me to shoot two? Yeah. I was kind of shocked at first, and, and he's like, no, no, it'll be okay, just let it go. And I was like, is this guy for real? <laughs> just a superstition that he kind of built up over time, and he's done it every game day. What a wild couple of days for David Riddick. He's traded on Sunday, and then yesterday, he hitches a ride to Toronto with his old team on the Calgary Flames charter plane. David! Go! So David Riddick into the game here after Jack Campbell surrenders three consecutive goals. Start playing for first fucking place. What do you want to be about? What the fuck are we playing for? It's fucking playoff hockey now. We gotta be fucking dialed in. Let's fucking bear down. Let's fucking send a message. You motherfucker! Dick. Back to the net, Joe. Back to the net. Huh? Huh? Fuck this. What the fuck is wrong with you? Did you see him fucking hack my knee? No, I didn't. Go, 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 go. What are you going to do? Ball, You're going to die too, you fucker. Fucking die. Toronto Pelly, 97. Die. What the fuck is that? He goes and gets a new stick. Skates right back to him again and get not even a very very hard one. Stop, but fellas, literally stop, skates stop, from stop. there getting a stick. Hey, because we don't die, that happens, eh? I go down, it's a penalty. Joe! I don't die! Hang on, hang on. He took my fucking knee. Joe, just listen to me for a sec. I give you the first one. I know, but but if I dive, it's a penalty, but I don't die. If so I get... I'm gonna go down every time now. That's what you're showing I'm not, me. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying what you did. We get was the okay, tip. Now for I'm tap. getting them even harder though now. Okay, well do you do what you want. Okay, but, you, but I'm but just gonna go response. down next time. That's what we're playing. He scared me. He scared me. Yeah, he scared me. Oh. All right, well, he You fucking diver. I'm embarrassed for him. I'm embarrassed for him. Fucking diver. The guy's a diver. We all know he's a diver. And Ehlers is just <laughs> turning a deaf ear. And Joe Bo Joe board. is having a, a rather loud conversation. Eat you for fucking breakfast. Let's step out right now. We'll step out. I don't mind, because you can't do shit. I would love to be in still there. going. He's still at it. Oh, poor guy, eh? Huh? I'm so ashamed of you. Hey, step one, playoffs. Fucking right. Yeah. 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 I have 100 fucking apples, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here to help this team, you know, and, and to get injured. Uh, I was already, you know, missing some time with the quarantine, jumping in. I felt really good about my game. And then to get injured, it just pissed me off. It's just tight. It's just right there. You all right? It's back. What happened? I don't know. I just went to stop. Fucking back. Seized? Yeah. 
Sorry, boys. You're good. You're good, guys. Don't worry. Sure. Yeah, great. Let her settle down. Sometimes it just happens. Don't it's beat straight. yourself up over it. It's okay. It's crazy. Crazy. With the division title in their sights and a rare day off, Willie Nylander organizes a little outing for some of his teammates. I really want to take the guys out uh, to the track and have some fun. I mean, we've been uh, playing, I mean, almost every other day this season. And I mean, to get out here with some of the guys and just get your mind off the game and, I mean, have some fun while we're at it, too. Are we all going together? Everybody gets. Yeah, we're, we're all in one car. No. <laughs> 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 Looks like you're going to get out of your fucking Vespa or <laughs> If you haven't noticed already, hockey players are a little obsessed with their sticks. Yeah, I heard Spezza's office. But Jason Spezza is in a league of his own. How many guys still work on their sticks like you? Oh, not very many. Yeah. It used to be a thing, right? Like, guys used to, when we use wood sticks, everybody would have to work on their sticks a little bit. Um, yeah, now, I don't know. I do it part through habit, part through necessity, but... I just like the routine. It's calming for me before the game. All right, let's hope it works. Yeah, like, I'm going on today for 20 minutes. Are you? See how I'm feeling, so. That's great, though. Yeah. Just yeah. Get a yeah, start the process. Get the gear yeah. up. Yeah, start the process. Let me see it. Yeah. What's up, handsome? Uh, All right. How much? How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. You look great. Yeah. The hit itself, I don't remember it. Obviously, I was uh, uh, unconscious after being hit. Very confused at the beginning because I did not know what happened. And then uh, in the ambulance, I uh, started getting very anxious because I knew something had happened and I didn't remember. And you start thinking um, very serious consequences about your life. And um, you, know, you think about your family, your kids, and how things can change so fast. The beauty of this is that we don't need anyone to be great. We just need everyone to do their job. When you're on a good team, you don't need any heroes because you have the ability to overcome anything because of the players you have in your room. This team is built on really good things happen. Mind yourself out and out there. You know, this is what you dream about, and I dream about these moments as a kid. Nobody talks about winning game 47 of the regular season when you're in the driveway. You talk about winning game seven overtime. Find more, whatever it is. Yeah. Try to find it. Yeah. It's the only fucking option. No one's laying down. Yeah. Go and have these fucking guys. Try to find a way here, fellas. No fucking tomorrow. No. no. Our fucking yeah. season's not a line, boy. Yeah. You gotta have that urgency. We empty the tanks. 20 minutes. After, After the 20 minutes, through. there's nothing we can fucking do about it. But for 20 minutes, we can fucking do something about it. It doesn't matter what's happened. Let's fucking dig in. A little bit more. A little more. A little more. Centering pass comes in front of the net, a shot scores! Nylander with 136 to go. Fifth goal of the playoffs for Willie Nylander. No wild celebration from a lead standpoint. Too much work to do and not enough time. Canadians win three out of four in Toronto and come back from a 3-1 deficit to beat what can only be described as a nervous, tense Leaf team here in game seven. You know, in my opinion, I don't think we had any shortage of chances. Um, like I said, it's a game of inches, and obviously we're out there to, uh, you know, to capitalize, and uh, we weren't able to get it done. I put a lot of pressure on myself to be the best player every single night. You know, I felt that uh, wasn't living up to me, my own standards, and just gotta make sure that uh, stops happening. Worst goal of my career and happened in Game Seven. You know, it's just not acceptable, and um, I think the team counts on me to be better, and I know I can be a lot better than that. So I'm gonna get back to work and be better. We have to. Just pick ourselves up, continue to uh, support each other, and, and uh, keep pounding on the door to uh, uh, find our way to break through.
I've never seen a group in my time in hockey after a loss so devastated and distraught. From the outset of the journey of a team, their greatest successes are usually directly preceded by their greatest disappointments. Dermy this way, guys, a little bit this way, just... And if the organization can stand with its convictions and continue to drive right ahead, it will be rewarded.